Coming up next week in Brussels, organic farming, border management and a mini plenary brings the President of Israel and the Palestinian National Authority to Brussels. Welcome to the agenda. Is Europe expanding the scope of counterterrorism measures at the expense of fundamental rights? With multiple devastating attacks across France and Belgium and with lone wolf attacks on the rise, the threat posed by the Islamic State is massive. The Civil Liberties Committee are set to vote on Tuesday on a draft directive that looks to outlaw the travel of foreign fighters, give support to victims of terrorism and try to counter online propaganda by terrorist groups and sympathizers. In the name of security, could the free movement of EU citizens be curtailed? No, even if some borders were closed for a short time after terrorist attacks. But concerns remain over the alarming number of EU foreign fighters travelling to Iraq and Syria and the threat they then pose on their return to Europe after radicalisation. To crack down, the EU wants to introduce systematic checks of all EU and non-EU citizens when they are travelling across external borders of the Union and also to put checks on third country nationals when they are leaving the EU. The controversial proposal is put to a vote on Tuesday at the Civil Liberties Committee. A mini-plenary this week brings the President of the Palestinian National Authority and Israel to the Parliament. Trouble is brewing between the two neighbours once again. After Israel's national water company cut off water supply to large parts of the West Bank during the holy month of Ramadan, leaving thousands without clean drinking water. With tensions high as ever, both presidential addresses will be food for fodder. The Israeli president addresses MEPs on Wednesday at 3 p.m. and on Thursday, Mahmoud Abbas takes the stage at 11 a.m. And now for a quick look at what else is on at the mini plenary. What property rights do international couples have, especially if there's a dispute? Which EU country laws can apply? Watch out for a joint debate on Wednesday. The EU Foreign Affairs Chief Federica Mogherini will make a statement on the ongoing killings in Eastern DRC on Wednesday. On Thursday morning, there will be a joint debate between the EU Commission and Parliament on the state of play of energy reform vis-à-vis -vis renewable energy and efficiency. And also look out for a European TV interview with the authors of the final report by the Special Committee on Tax Ruling Tax 2. MEPs vote on the draft report on Tuesday. A new regulation on farming could come into force by the middle of next year. But could it place unnecessary burdens on organic farmers? No longer a niche market, organic products generate 20 billion euros every year. Under plans, organic and non-organic farming will not be allowed on the same land. And all products labelled as organic will be subject to stricter tests to ensure overall better quality. On Tuesday, MEPs of the Agriculture Committee will discuss a state of play of final negotiations on legislative changes taking place between representatives of the Parliament and Member States. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.